Alright guys, welcome back to JForce Gaming and today I am going to talk about this really amazing video editor by Hitpaw, alright? So this is called the Hitpaw Video Editor. So uh, what's so special about this editor, alright, is basically it is very easy to use, alright? So it's um, very user-friendly for beginner, alright? So if you're a beginner and you're into video editing or you want to create your very first YouTube videos, alright, uh, you can use this editor, alright? And it comes with a lot, a, a lot of different kinds of... Um, you know, um, function functions. You know, all these kind of um profiles, right? For you to create your desired videos, alright. And it also comes pre-packed with a lot of uh, like a uh, sound effect, animations, transitions, or right? sticker packs, alright. Everything for you to make your video stand out and unique from other videos as well, alright. So it can edit professionally, alright. Cuts all this, alright. Also, basically have the function of a of a you know very uh, high end uh, video editor like video. Like Adobe Premiere Pro, you know, um, um, those Apple Cut, uh, all these kind of um, premium video editor, right? This has the same function. It lets you do the same function as those um, higher end uh, video editor, right? As well as give you extra like the sticker pack transition, all this, all right? Which you don't have to download yourself, and it's all pre-packed with this video editor. And it's very simple and it's easy to use. So right now I'm gonna show you guys how you can can use it, all right? And um, all the different kind of function that this um, video editor has, and why I love it so much. So now let's show show you the editor itself. Alright, so what we have here, alright, is the um, video editor itself, alright, so this is the software itself and you can see you can open the project which you previously saved, alright, if you have any existing project that you have did with this video editor or you can start a new project. So once I click on start a new project, alright, it's gonna load up pretty fast, alright, it's pretty quick and as you can see, uh, so this is very, um, it may look very confusing but it is very easy to navigate around. So as you can see right here, it says drop, drag and drop your files here. So um, this is one of the microphone reviews that I previously did as you guys can see, alright. So um, how I'm going to do that is I'm going to just import, you know, two of this footage, alright, and into it. As you can see, both of these footage are in it, alright. So, um, so to put in your timeline, just drag it down. Alright, as you can see, and uh, it loads up pretty fast, and uh, you know you can uh, drag around to uh, you know to to view which part of it. Alright, and they have on the right hand side. Alright, they have um, all this kind of um, um editing that you can do. Alright, so you can if you want to like maybe zoom into this microphone, you can uh, use use your cruiser to drag, and you can zoom it in. Alright, at this part of the video. Alright, so you know it's zoom into this part. Alright, you also have the opacity. So if you have a video at the back. At the background, alright, so you can, you know, change the opacity of the um, video itself, alright, so they also have filters as well. Alright, let's change the zoom back, alright. I just reset it back to its original position, alright. And then they have uh, filters, alright, if you have a uh, filter, I'll talk about filters later on, alright, so you can rotate the videos if you want, you can mirror the video, you can flip it, you know. Yep, see, it's very easy, alright, you can have a background, alright, you can have a color background, you can choose a background that you like. Alright, and after that, you see if you like uh, that, you can see more yellowish. Alright, it's pretty cool, alright. And they have speed, so like, um, you know, if you want to increase the speed, you can do it as well. So basically, it's like on those part where you maybe do like unboxing, when I'm doing doing unboxing or what, I will usually speed it up. So you can uh, select when you want to speed it up as well, alright. So I'm going to just uh, reset it back to its original, alright. Speed ramping, so you can customize at which part you speed up, slow down, you know, all this. They have a different type of graph that you can use. You can even customize your own graph for different kind of speed, which is amazing, alright. You don't have this function in Adobe Premiere Pro. Maybe they have, but it's more complicated, alright. Um, and you have this one, you can adjust the brightness. So maybe like this part, as the sun is too bright, you know, you can adjust the brightness a bit, you know, adjust down the contrast, you know, it's more smoothed out, you know. Overall, it's, it's pretty smoothed out, so the sun will be so bright, alright, as compared to, you know, as the sun is bright, this is dark at the side, alright. So as you can sharpen the image, you find it too blurred. There's so many things that you can do on this video editor, alright, to, 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 to match the, um, you know, the, the desired um, video that you want your viewers to see, alright. You can adjust the sound, you can fade out the sound and fade in the sound, alright, and you can adjust the volume of the video itself all right the video that it took and these are all the details of the video itself all right and if i add it in one all right maybe i can put this on top all right so it come out a second layer so this is the top layer so it comes out with both layer all right 
And after that, you know. And what's good about this, okay, they come with a lot of preset sounds. So you don't have to manually search it and insert it. Um, let's say in Adobe Premiere Pro here, I have to manually search the sound. And after that, I'm going to put it in. But right here, everything is here, okay. So you have a preview of the sound, all right. They have all kind of effect. They have all kind of nature. So you want to add it into a video, you can just add it from here, okay. They have effects as well. They categorize it quite really well, all right. They have nature as well. So maybe um your... You are taking a vlog and it's raining, alright, so you want to enhance the rain, you can add in the rainfall. Uh, alright, it's pretty simple and straightforward, just drag and drop, alright, and BGM. And uh, they have text, so you can add in some text if you want, alright, they come with all different kind of design. Alright, so where I like um, this one, alright, so I just, at, at this time, alright, at 12 minutes 21, I just want to put a text here. I just put a text here, alright, and then after you can type like, um, you know, cool. Alright, and it comes up with this really unique design. As you can see, you can rotate around, you know. The, it's, it's pretty, what you can do, right, is pretty, um, a lot of things you can do, right? you can change the color if you don't like this. You like a darker color as well. Alright, you can collect the spacing, the line spacing, whichever you like, the opacity. Alright, there's so many things you can do, you see. A text border, which is basically the outline. If I like it black, I'll can it to black. As you can see, it's pretty easy to do, alright, and everything is really straightforward and simple, alright. And after that, we have the stickers, alright. So these are all the sticker pack there, you can see how many stickers pack they have. That is pretty much a lot, alright, and if you guys want, you can they have um, categorize it for you, but if you not, you can just scroll and see which one fit certain part of your video, alright, you can use it. Alright, so it's pretty much also drag and drop, alright, so, but if you w want to know what the sticker do, alright, just click on it, alright, they will show you a preview of it, and if you think, yep, I like it, alright, so it just, maybe at this part, maybe uh, at the next part of the video, maybe this part, I want to add this hard shape, just drag and drop, and after that, we'll just leave it here, maybe the microphone, and if you press play, there you go, this is the effect, so, yep, and it's pretty right here, so, if you don't want it, you can just press delete, alright, you can just delete it away, alright, and, um, yeah, so they have a bunch of sticker pack. You guys can use it for your own video, right? And they even have transition. So, what transition does is they say, like, you can see. So this is what happens, all right? You can you can have a see which one like you transit from one video to another video. So this is how this is how it works. So it's pretty cool, all right? So if you want some professional transition and you don't want to work too much on the transition part, you can easily do do this. As you can see, the push up, all right? All right so um, so. You know to add this effect in, I just need to put this thing here. Alright, so there's a split part, so I just put um, push out here. Alright, so as you can see. So the effect was like, oops. So now it's to the microphone review. So, yep, it's pretty cool. Alright, so you can add different effects. Alright, and maybe at this point. Alright, like maybe this part you want to cut it out, you just need to press cut out. Alright, so this part will be cut out, and maybe this part you want to cut it out. Alright, so now they have. Three different parts. Maybe this part I don't want it. Uh, then just press delete, and after it's gone, so the part has been cut out. So, yeah, it's very simple, right? They have you can zoom into the timeline. So if you want to like precisely want to cut like which certain frame, alright, you can zoom in. So maybe I just want to cut one frame away, or you can do that as well. Yeah, there's so many things that you can do, alright. And they also have effects. Look at this, so many effects that you can do. A slideshow kind of effect, blurry kind of effect. No, look at this. All these are really professional effects, transition effect that you can use. That's not cannot be found in professional editor, right? For all these, you have to manually do it yourself, or you have to download externally, which will takes up a lot of hard disk space, storage space, alright, as well as you know all this kind of thing. And they have an orbit twist. Look at this. It's it's just really amazing. All the transitions are really amazing, right? And they even have, alright, what is this? Is called the um, the filters, alright. So if you want to make your videos looks more, you know um old all right maybe i want to make my video looks more um you know from the night 90s all right then we have this so you can make my videos like more from the night 90s all right this one maybe you want a cyberpunk kind one you know you know from from the 90s or if you like um filming like nature vlogs all right you know, you want to make your vlogs more stand up more movie like you can add in these kind of filters and it automatically added to that part so yeah it's pretty cool and a vintage look if you want my videos to be looks vintage all right and just you see it's it's just very straightforward just a click all right it will change it for you very simply all right and um and yeah it's very easy to do all right so um 
But anyway, if I want to cut out this part and probably like uh, this part, I'll cut it out. I'm just gonna cut it out. Alright, so now I have this part here. Alright, so three parts. Alright, as you can see. Alright, so um. So yeah, this is the part where I cut it out. I can just drive it. Okay, this one can drag here. So maybe you can, you know, you can do it wrong. You can just drag around. It's very simple. And this part, this is the part where I have the um. You know, the hush sheet animation so yeah everything is laid out very simply all right and as a adobe premiere user all right i would say that the ui everything is very similar and all the function it has even more function than adobe premiere pro so it's very suitable for beginners out there right? as well as professional like me all right i can use this all right to add in some effect to add in the filters to make my videos looks uh, more modern or suits a different kind of scenery and different types of um, video background as well so there's so many customization that you can do with your video and that's why i love this um software a lot all right there's a lot of things that you can, it's come prepared with a lot of like sounds stickers all these that you can use for your video you don't have to search it externally all right so and after that you can export it so if you're happy with the video that you made you can export it you can name it you can name you can change the name all right and you can see where you want to save it to all right and as well as you can search the video format you can either um export as a video format mp4 or music format all right the resolution you can even export as 4k so um if you record this in 1080p you can export it in 4k it used to automatically upscale for you all right and you can choose up to 60 fps so this is pretty much um all um the available settings all right for the export and it's pretty straightforward and it's very simple and yeah this this software is just really amazing. I have nothing much to complain about, alright? So if you guys are out there looking for a really professional video editor, alright? That comes pre-packed and is very um, beginner friendly, alright? This is the hands down one of the best video editor that you can get out there, alright? If you don't want to spend too much on Adobe Premiere Pro all this and you, it takes time to learn, alright? To use all the functions in Premiere Pro. Even until now, I've been using Premiere Pro for about 3 to 4 years, alright? I still there's a lot of um editing tools that I have I'm I don't know how to figure it out I don't know how it works all right but for this it's very straightforward it gets what you want your video to be all right what you have in mind you can just create it in this video editor all right so it gets the job down very simply straightforward no lag everything just works really fine and I'm using Windows 11 right now and as you can see it works perfectly fine with Windows 11 and even my Adobe Premiere all right it even has a bug all right sometimes the 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 timeline thing it doesn't work all right and it just sort of glitch out in windows 11 but for this all right it works perfectly fine in windows 11 so um yeah so uh, if you guys are looking to get this software right the link will be in the video description down below for you guys to check it out all right highly recommend you guys to get this video editing software if you guys are out there looking for the best video editing software yeah, you can get at an affordable price this is one of it that you should get all right so yeah this is jforce gaming if you guys do like this today's video give it a thumbs up all right and uh, as well as comment down below if you guys want more uh, video like this all right so um yeah that's all for the guys if i and this is jforce gaming i shall see you guys in my next video peace out i don't want to cry